Welcome everyone. I have a large red oak tree here. This thing is probably about 22 inches across the base and it is dead at the top. We're going to have to have this tree down and in order to do so inside the cedar thicket here we're going to have also have to drop down a couple of these larger cedar trees so this red oak has a place to fall down too. The canopy is still large in the tree but it has been dead on the stump here now for about a year or so. These two cedar trees that we're going to have to remove today will uh, make great candidates for the sawmill so it's not a loss and uh, I've got the little saw warming up we're going to knock the limbs off first before we drop them. I hope you guys enjoy the video let's get started. Tell you what guys, that thing is straight and running a nice diameter for about 20 feet there or better. Well, that's definitely going to make some good stuff. I've got a pretty good pile going over here already and I am picking all the stuff up behind us so that way when we do fall these things down we're not tripping over everything we've already cut. Makes it a little easier. Boy, this saw is perfect for above your head work here like this. And I'm glad we purchased it. It's made that easier. Okay, we've got all this out of the way. We're spinning around here, I'll show you this oak tree. Well, like I said, it's got a several branches that's going to hook into these cedar trees as it starts to fall. And I'm probably gonna to have to take this little guy out too. I can't drop it towards the mule there. That's the property line. We'll keep everything on this side. So I think right through here is where we're hoping it's going to fall. I'm getting this one and the other one behind it there trimmed up. At least the tree has a chance to get in there and get down to the ground. The sawmill's just sitting right up there. So once we get these cedars down, it's not going to be a Big deal to get them hauled to the mill. And I do have plenty of cedars right here in this little grove too. So they can continue to grow until we need something. 
All right, let's see if we can drop this first tree. Get our wedges and everything up here ready. We're going to use the 661 on this one and see if we can't get it to fall right down in between these other two oak trees. And then that'll open up enough hole for the other tree to fall down, I hope, in between these two cedar trees. It's like a jigsaw puzzle, guys. Great guys. That is a nice tree. How much red's left in that? Look at all those branches. I'm going to go ahead and limb as much of this one as I can because our next tree needs to fall right down in this area in order to bring it out of the hole behind us.
So we ended up with 28 feet of nice millable material out of this. And the tree, we are 30, eh, 33 feet to here. So the tree was 40 feet long by the time we've knocked the top out of it. And it did open a significant portion of the skyline here for us to get the other trees down. Good. Let's see how this other one is going to fall for us. This one's going to be a little trickier too, guys. As you can see all around it here, unless we should really start dropping trees, there's no place for it to fall. So our plan, I'm going to lay it right down beside that cedar tree, and hopefully it'll dodge at the top of the cedar tree in the left there and fall straight across the log we just cut. It's still got to pull through a lot of brush to get there. Let's see what happens. There she goes. Well, it rolled down out of the tree. That was a good thing. That's going to be another nice log. Well, we didn't quite make our target. I was hoping for that gap right there. But it caught into that tree and just simply rolled down. So it did land in a good spot. Now this log won't be quite as good as the other. You can see we had a top break out there and then start regrowing probably 20, or 20 years or so ago, I'd say. But everything from the crotch there back to the end is going to make a great log. And yes, a lot of branches. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Everything went pretty close to plan. And we do have enough room now to bring this red oak down, I do believe, without too much problems. And that's a large enough tree that uh, hopefully it'll, it'll just get right into this area where I'm standing and we won't have to mess with that too much. And this is going to make fantastic material for the mill up here. And I would say by the time we have all three trees processed, we're, we're north of $1,000 worth of material. And uh, we're going to get considerable amount of firewood out of the red oak as well. Plenty of branches left on the cedar trees. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you're out cutting, always have a plan before you start. And uh, hopefully it goes as well as this one did. I'll talk to you on the next one. We'll find something to get into.